einmarschiert werden. Wir werden es als Erste wissen. Wir kommen mitten durch vor mehr Glieder. Falsch. Gelama Roosevelt und Vetter Churchill würden... Sie sind hier! Panzerkommando und Bunker 6, geben Sie Fliegeralarm, der Feind fliegt Luftangriffe. Ist da jemand? Hallo? Ende. Ende. Hoffentlich haben Sie eine gute Entschuldigung, dass Ihr Fort nicht besetzt ist. Alright guys, get set to move. On my command. Let's go, let's go!
All right, fellas. Take five, but listen up. We'll hold this place till reinforced, but this is just one tiny village in a war and country full of them, so our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll redeploy those German machine guns setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies in mind. Good work. Go have a look. Right, Captain.
Martin, over here. Get in the car. Okay, Captain. Assuming we get back to battalion in this rolling junkyard, what do I tell him? Hand this directly to Major Shepard. Tell him Baker Company has secured the town, but won't be able to hold it long if we don't get relief soon. Got that, Sergeant? Oh, yes, sir, you bet. We ride through enemy lines in a French tin can. Want to paint a bullseye on it, sir? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that won't be necessary, Sarge. So unless you've got a better idea or a radio that works, carry on. Good luck. Oh, man, this is nuts. I can't believe we're doing this. Believe it, unless you sprout wings and want to fly. It's only six miles, Private. Just shut up and do your job.
Ever steal a car? Only when I need one, Sarge. Martin, cover it! Damn it, Elder, hurry up! I'm working, Sarge! I'm working! This is on you! I got it! I got it! Get it over here! In the car! Mark, cover! Step on it! Get us out of here! Third squad, get your 30 cal to cover our flank. Second squad, follow in reserve. I got point. Elder and Martin on my tail. Everybody set? Let's go! They got two MG42s up ahead. Third squad, draw their fire from the left. Second squad, hit them from the right. Go, go, go! Take cover. This cannon's about to go boom. All right, down the trench. Move out. Hurry up! 
can't. and try to shut their artillery down. Second platoon, move in and secure the attack now! Let's go! It's up, Jerry's outside. Grab that MG42 and use it.
That's her last gun. Let's mop up and get out of here. Covering fire! First platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me 50 bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Privates Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to battalion headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Mariglis. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Brecor Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st so that it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen, and enjoy your R&R &R while you can. There's an MG-42 on the left, with a guardhouse on the right. They didn't spot me. Let's hope. Captain Price and Major Ingram? Probably in the big house up the road. Martin, you take point and knock out that 42. Harding and Brooks, go get the truck. Meet us at the front of the chateau. Everyone else, follow Martin. Move! Good work, Martin. Everyone breathe deep and catch your breath. Now let's do it all over again. Hey, cover me! Get in there, grab any docks, knock out their communications, then meet back up with us. Sergeant Moody and I will find Price and Ingram.
cover me! Guys, we're moving on. Now, Bryce and Ingram are behind these doors. Stand back, we're gonna blow them! Goodness me, Americans! Covering fire! Made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite all right. Uh, I can still walk. Captain Price, Captain Foley. Where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Not to worry, I overheard where. Truck's up front, sir. Excellent. Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt. Let's pile in. We're getting out. Captain, what about Major Ingram? We'll be back for him. Get in.
Okay, Martin. We're about ready to ram the gate, with less than ten minutes from your first shot to pull this off. Take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. You take out the front guards, concentrating on the machine gun nests. Once the gate is down, get in there and find the Major. Then rendezvous back at the truck. Okay, Martin. We're about ready to ram the gate, with less than ten minutes from your first shot to pull this off. If you take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. You take out the front guards, constantly. <laughs>
show, Captain. To you and your boys. Well done. Well done. 